want to be an airport that responds quickly and with agility and uh, effectively to our passengers in terms of security, uh, travel experience, and so on. So to do that, we want to get away from a typical landlord tenancy relationship with us and the airlines uh, to being a broker of data between ourselves, the airlines, constitu constituents, and uh, passengers. Currently, SFO uses APIs to uh, improve uh, transportation behavior in and around the airport. So we've got solutions that help us to, for example, monetize Ubers and Lyfts that uh, are operating around the airport. But we're also reducing our greenhouse footprint because we have uh, solutions that, uh, API solutions that taxis are using for virtual queuing. So that means we can actually reduce the number of taxis that are uh, queuing at the airport or waiting at the airport for passengers, uh, where they can actually go virtual with a mobile app to determine you know, how many queues are currently at the airport, how many passengers may be coming in because of flight loads and so on. Uh, the term uh, connected airport uh, really uh, is going to be driven through API management. The biggest difference uh, that I can see from implementing API management has been the impact to our business and our bottom line as an airport. We didn't actually know what types of revenues Ubers and Lyfts were making through the airport. Um, because we rolled out that API service, we, we actually have a click, uh, a click revenue stream that's associated with it. That continues to grow as our taxi revenues decline. So that's a very direct impact on our bottom line as well. In terms of comparisons before and after API management, uh, our biggest challenge is going to be scale. Uh, the airport is like a small city. Actually, not a small city, it's a decent sized city. Uh, we've got 30,000, at least 30,000 employees or workers uh, going through the airport every single day. We see 50 million passengers a year. Uh, it's, it has a complete ecosystem of its own. What it's going to take to scale our services delivery capability to support that entire infrastructure uh, is going to be quite massive. And that's a challenge I, I think we need, to, we need to figure out pretty quickly. Uh, we expect a fully connected airport to be completely running on services in the future. And APIs are going to be a big part of that.